everybody, it's Mama J. And Wingles the Elf. We are here with day nine. Day nine, we're almost at the double digits. Almost. <laughs> Um, so today is Wednesday the 9th. First, I want to say, don't forget, check us out live tonight on Funko Pops and Unicorns channel. We will be doing, um, the giveaway for everybody who donated to Toys for Tots and submitted her with their entries. So good luck to everybody tonight and hope to see you all there. Um, the other thing is, don't forget also, this is the third day of the Christmas swap videos being dropped. So make sure you guys are checking that out. I do have a playlist if you want to check it out or it makes it easier to find because there will be there will be a total of 77 videos. And today Spectre's video dropped. Oh, does it drop today? Yeah, I had to learn to upload a video. It was hard. <laughs> it was hard. Alright, so make sure you guys check out Spectre's video today too. Um, so today... We're going to talk about the top 10, or what they say are, the top 10 Christmas cartoons. Okay? Um, so we'll go down the list and we'll see if you've seen them, I've seen them, and you guys can let us know if you've seen them. Uh, number 10 was Arthur. Um, it's called Arthur Christmas and it was released in 2011. Have you seen that one? Is I don't think I've one seen that. Where one? he has the older brother just very militarized. Mm, I'm not sure because I don't think I've seen it. If it's the one where his older brother's like more militarized and their dad's about to retire and they're trying to do a new toy delivery thing, then yes. Now these are cartoons. It is a cartoon. Okay, maybe, maybe. If not, we'll have to figure out what that one is that you're talking about. Um, but I don't think it's one that I've I've seen. Okay. So. Uh, the next one is, number nine, was A Year Without Santa Claus. That was released in 1974. Okay. <laughs> um, have you ever seen that one? Uh, most of it. I don't know if I've seen it at all. I did see it. I know it has, um, it's very old anime. It's like, they almost look like clay figures, you know? When it's they... probably stop motion then. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But it's 1974. So, that's a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, probably stop motion. Um, yeah, no. Uh, but, it, you know, it was a staple. It played every year. I don't know if it still does. Um, but it used to play every year. Every year. Uh, number eight is The Night Before Christmas with Tom and Jerry, which was released in 1941. Wow. Yeah, can you imagine? So, that was with Tom and Jerry. Um, I know I've seen that. I'm sure you've seen that, too. I would not be surprised. I mean, I would be surprised if anybody out there hadn't seen it. But it's a possibility based on their age. Um, but ironically, number seven is The Night Before Christmas also. But it's the 1933 version, which was prior to the Tom and Jerry one. So, um... I know I've seen that one too, but it's probably been a while. <laughs> okay, so number six is Peace Peace on Earth, and it was released in 1939. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so what was number five? Number five was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, released in 1964. Wow. And everybody, I'm sure, has seen that one. Yep. Okay, come on. <laughs> Next is Fantasia from 1940. I have not seen Fantasia. Now, you have seen Fantasia, I'm sure. Um, I know Spectre has seen it. Okay. Um, it was a Disney movie. It's the one where Mickey Mouse stands there and he, you know, orchestrates, like, the broom moving around, the mop, the mop bucket. Um, I know Spectre watched it a few times when he was little. Most kids like it either when they're really little or most adults like it. <laughs> so, um, number three. Number three is The Nightmare Before Christmas from 1993. I see your Spectre was born. Yes. And that's a good one. I've seen that yeah. plenty of times. Now, is that a Christmas movie? I mean, it's number three. No, oh, it's also a Halloween movie. Yeah, so it kind of goes for both. But it does have the Christmas movie 
feeling, yes. which is there's a problem, a resolution, and then a, a happy ending. Yes, yes, true. So next would be How the Grinch Stole Christmas from 1966. So that's the cartoon. Yes. Because I know a lot of kids look at um, that being the Jim Carrey movie. One but of the best Jim Carrey movies. <laughs> but um, the original cartoon was from 1966. So, and then number one? Number one is a Charlie Brown Christmas from 1965. Everybody loved a Charlie Brown Christmas. We actually um, showed off our Charlie Brown tree the other day. Yep. So. And the cat ate it. And the cat ate it. Now, I added one on here that was not part of the top ten. And that is the movie Claus from 2019. Yes, and it's actually pronounced Klaus. Klaus, Okay. And what is that movie about? That movie is about the creation of Christmas mm -hmm. by a postman in a small rural village on a town where he meets a woodsman who you have to watch the movie to find out. It's on Netflix. It's a really, really good movie. It's a cartoon, great for all ages. So uh, if you haven't seen that movie, you need to go see it. Yes, it's actually one of my more favorite animated Christmas. So again, it's pronounced Klaus. Klaus. It's on Netflix. And um, like I said, it, it's it's a real good story about how how Christmas came to be, pretty much. You know. Uh, so make sure you guys check that movie out if you haven't. Let us know down below if you have not seen or have seen any of these movies. What's your favorite Christmas cartoon, I guess you could say? And uh, leave that down below. Don't forget, make sure you're watching for the floating reindeer name. And uh, now we'll see what we got in our advent calendars. Okay. Oh. All right. We're on day nine. It's probably going to be a red bag. Yep. <laughs> All right. A lot of hair. Uh oh. Means it's Super Saiyan? Nope, it is Vegeta. Oh, Vegeta. When he came to invade Earth. Because he has his tail and Saiyan armor. Oh, he has his tail? Yep. <laughs> Alright, so yesterday we pulled out. Who did we pull out yesterday out of mine? Joy. Alright, so yesterday we pulled Joy from Inside Out. So I'm sure today will be another Inside Out. Who do you think we're going to get? Uh, probably a sticker. Sticker? Alright, let's take a look. Nope. No. Oh. We got... Sadness. Sadness? Aww. Look how cute she is, though. <laughs> so that's really cute. That's really cute. Alright, so we got joy and sadness. I wonder if we'll get all of them. How many are there? Five. So I wonder if we'll get all five. Of joy, them. sadness, disgust, um, scared, and anger. Okay. All right. So that was really cute. And then today, you get to do the mini mystery. So let's see what's in the bag. Grab one from the bottom. And we got villain zombies. Heroes. Okay. Do you need the knife? Nope, because it opens up like that. And then like that. So we got... I never looked to see who we wanted, but who did we get? Oh. Um, I'm not really sure. Bullseye. I mean, who is Bullseye from? Uh, I believe he's a um, Hawkeye villain. Oh, okay. All right, so that's kind of cool. Kind of scary looking. That's cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. All right. So what other ones did they have on here? Yeah, Red Skull, Thanos, Venom, Green Goblin, Rhino. Yeah, there's a lot of different ones that you can get from there. So that's cool. That's cool. 
Um, alright, so don't forget guys, check us out tonight on Funko Pops and Unicorns. Um, don't forget Friday, join us for our Patreon giveaway. And we'll pick the winner of the coloring contest for the kids. And we'll play some other games and do some other stuff. Come hang out with us Friday night. It'll be fun. Um, but until then, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>